Hi there. This huge monster of a bush is my rosemary. And as you can see, I've been neglecting it. In fact, I haven't done anything to it for at least five years. And now it's grown from a nice dainty little bush into something quite of a monster. And in fact, it's so large, it has now grown completely across the alleyway behind the back of my house which is annoying me because I have to fight this thing every day to get to work but also it must be really annoying my neighbours because their bin is just over there behind the camera so they too have to fight this to get their rubbish into their bin so there's no avoiding it this dear lady is going to have a little bit of a cut back and I'm going to show you the best way to cut and prune your rosemary. The thing about rosemary is it's very different from sage. If you watched my previous video on how to prune sage, you'll know that you can just essentially hack back into the wood. Um, but here, you can see, although outside the shrub is very bushy, inside, there's not much greenery at all. So if I was to cut into this piece of wood here, it would just die back. Now then, if we look at this branch here, all the way down there, you can see that it's got leaves sprouting from it. And we need those because if we cut back a lot of the foliage, these will become new branches. Those little shoots of, sing if you wish, single leaves or little clusters of three or four leaves, each one of those will actually grow into a new branch with lots and lots of lovely fresh leaves on it. Now then, if you look at this branch here, that one just going down there, you'll notice that it's got foliage growing off of it. Tiny little clusters of leaves. If we were going to prune the branch further up here say all of those would actually grow into new branches of the shrub and so that's what we're going to do but just to explain exactly what I mean we're going to have to sacrifice a branch so I'm going to cut this one just here so here we have the branch that I've just cut from the uh, rosemary and as you can see there's two clear parts to the plant. Up here we've got the nice bushy green growing part of the plant and down here not much happening at all in greenery. So when we prune our rosemary it's into this wood that we want to cut because if we cut here it will promote growth further down and these shoots, these little, sort of like there's uh, six or seven leaves per little shoot, they will grow into new branches of the rosemary. But if we cut down here, this won't promote any growth whatsoever, so you'll end up what would be essentially be a stick. Okay, that's one side pruned and uh, now what I have to do is tackle the side that's actually in the garden. Um, as you can see the rosemary has pretty well taken over the entire end of the garden. Oh, and for those of you who have seen the sage cutting, uh, this is about six weeks on from that video and that's my sage bush now and as you can see in full growth glory. Not bad eh? So don't be frightened to cut it back really the sage back really harshly okay back to the rosemary and it's as simple as that one once wildly overgrown rosemary bush completely trimmed and uh, ready for a new spurt of growth throughout the year. Now then, as always, when you cut a plant, you get lots of clippings, and I've got a whole 
bunch of it here. But uh, it's a shame to throw it away because there's lots of uses for it. So you can dry it to use in the kitchen as a dried herb. Um, you can sew it into pouches to add flavour uh, or smell, scents to the house, which is lovely. Um, and what I like to do is get some olive oil or some rapeseed oil, vegetable oil, anything like that, um, and just shove a few sprigs in there. And a month later, you have wonderful rosemary flavoured oil for cooking and for salads. What better thing to do? Thank you very much for watching and uh, tune in because I'll be showing you how to take uh, clippings of the rosemary uh, so you can free plants basically, so you can grow new ones. Okay, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks very much. Bye now.